Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you my go-to signature look. Whenever I'm going for shopping or a casual or formal meeting, I actually wear this look. And I'm giving you two lip options. One is this bright red and, and the one is a day-to-day -day nude. And I think this look is perfect for meeting and office. And you need a very few products and only 10 minutes to recreate this look. Before starting, please take a moment to subscribe, for that go to your YouTube app and press that red subscribe button, also press the bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So first I'm taking this Wet n Wild Chin One Primer Water and I'm just splitzing it all over on my face and neck. I have been following this step lately and it makes a huge difference on my makeup application as well as it just extends the weird time of my makeup. Now for my second primer, I'm going with this water drop primer again from Wet n Wild and this is another favorite of mine. This primer gives my face a very healthy glow. It does not dry out my skin. Also, it extends the wear time of my makeup. It is just so, so good. As the primer needs some time to prep my face for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. For that, I'm using another favorite of mine. This is maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade in black brown and this is extremely long wearing and with an angled brush i'm just drawing the borders of my brows first then i'll be filling it in using smaller strokes i already shared with you my brow routine a couple of months ago i will link that video down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out now i'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that there is no excess product for my foundation, I'm taking this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in Golden Beige and I'm just uh, applying it all over on my face and neck first then I'll be buffing it in using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. As it is not a party makeup, I'm not color correcting my face. Instead, I'm going with a full coverage foundation and this foundation is extremely long wearing and perfect for this summers. I'm taking this uh, Maybelline AG Wine Concealer in 20 and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and on my eyelids and I'm not highlighting the high points of my face because I do not generally do that on a day to day basis and I think highlighting my face with a cream highlighter it works at night I don't know it's just my personal opinion and I'm just blending it out with the same brush now i'm taking this cody airspun loose powder and i'm just setting my eye area as well as my smile lines because i get creases on those areas pretty quickly and that brush that i'm using is uh, the elf highlighting brush and it is a brightening powder so it will give me that brightening effect on my under eyes which is again a good thing and this brush is so soft you will not get any bristle marks with it now to set my entire face, I'm using another favorite of mine. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Transparent. And with this large powder brush from Ecreate Beauty, I'm just setting my entire face and neck. For my face, I'm taking this contour shade from my Maybelline Master Contour Palette and I'm just contouring the parameters of my face. Again, this palette is a good investment. Every shade, the blush, the bronzer, the highlighter, everything in this palette is so, so good. Especially if you are a beginner, I will highly recommend you this palette because you know what? If you want to buy a separate brush, brush sorry separate blush highlighter bronzer it will cost you a lot so yeah go for this one this is so so good now i'm taking the blush from the same palette and i'm just uh, applying it on the apples of my cheeks and this blush is again so good it is not a matte blush it has a very nice sheen to it and it reminds me a lot of my milani luminoso if you want a uh, nice pop of color you can build it up or if you want a very less a light hint of color you can apply just one or two layers and you will be good to go now i'm taking this highlighter from the same palette and this is again so so good look at this it's gorgeous i mean this highlighter is everything look look at the glow this is not powdery this is not glittery this is not shimmery this is not patchy it is just perfect and if you want a very subtle glow you can 
again we are like one or two layers and if you want a blinding highlight you can layer it up and it will not become cakey or powdery and these shades are so universal they will work on every skin tone for my eyes first i'm taking this bronzer or the contour shade from the same palette and i'm just applying it as my transition color on my crease and also on my outer v area i'm not going to use any eyeshadow as i do not generally use eyeshadows on a day-to-day -day basis because i i want to keep everything simple and natural and look the difference it just instantly made i'm taking the highlighter from the same palette and i'm just applying it on the center of my eyelid see if you have only one palette you are good to go and also do not forget your inner corners and brow bones it makes a huge difference i generally highlight my brow bones and inner corners on a day-to-day -day basis look at this look at the difference for my waterline i'm going with this uh, rimmel scandalized eye pencil in brown now there is a reason why i'm applying a brown eye pencil instead of a black eye pencil so sometimes a black eye pencil can look a bit harsh or intimidating but a brown eye pencil gives your eyes a very nice definition as well as it does not look like too much you know it looks so soft and i'm just smudging out the harsh line so that it becomes a bit smokier and i'm just curling my lashes with this vega eyelash curler and i'm applying my favorite mascara this is my maybelline lash sensational mascara this is my all-time favorite mascara it just gives my lashes a very nice volume it separates my lashes this is just so good now again i'm just setting my entire makeup with the same primer water from wet and wild now for the first lip option i'm going with this flower beauty cream lipstick in the shade pink dusk such a gorgeous color this is a perfect nude shade for me and i love the formula of these lipsticks these are so comfortable to wear so creamy it lasts about three to four hours so yeah this is just perfect For my second lip option, I'm going with this sleek matte lipstick in the shade Rioja Red and this is a vibrant rich red color. I love the color and I love the formula of this lipstick. These are so lightweight. You cannot even feel that you are wearing a lipstick underneath and it does not dry out my lips whatsoever and it is extremely long lasting. If you are allowed to wear a red lipstick at your workplace, go for it. This is it. You will love this lipstick so yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching it and this i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel also please share this video with your friends and family and let them know about my channel and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out so yeah see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care